11.7 and using OptiQuest to optimize the parameter. And now we're going to be using an OptiQuest uh, optimizer to find the optimal solution, uh, hopefully. And we're going to uh, duplicate this. We call this guy again, different name, OptiQuest. Experiment. We're going to com come here to select add in using OptiQuest for CMIL. All right, and we'll add it to that. And OptiQuest is trying to see which one is your primary uh, response and minima it will run five replication, maxima running 20 replication. Um, a maxima scenario going to generate automatically as using 100. So here I'm going to try to do is I'm going to determine the range of each one of the control I want to OptiQuest to search for. For example, this reordering point, I want them to be included in an optimizer. I want them to be included in the optimization. And the minima will be 200, and the maxima will be, uh, for example, 500. Okay, and I'm going to let it run it for 50 each range. Um, so e increment 50. So the next one will be 250, and then with 300, and then 350, and so on and so forth. Also, order up to level, I want them to be included in the optimizer as well. And I want to keep it with uh, uh, with 500s to begin with, and then I want them to be 1,200 and increments of 100, for example. Okay, and also in that case, also I do not want to include my initial inventory level to be. <coughs> to be uh, altered, uh, included in the optimization, the review period, I want them to be fixed also, I don't want them to be uh, included as well. So <clears throat> let's see if we uh, can rerun this uh, scenario. I'm going to start letting it run. It will automatically generate different scenario, maximum and up to 100 of them. Um, so now 2021, 20, so generating this new scenario based on the uh, scope I want them to search for. Okay, that is done. So the whole thing generate total 56 um, scenario um, based on the scope and the increment I want them to try. Um, but if you can uh, sort them. And some of the scenario got selected, some of don't. Let me run it again for you to. And some of the scenario actually didn't satisfy the constraint, it will automatically got dropped. So you can see that it got deselected over here. Okay, so total um, 21 scenario, uh, 56 scenario got generated. And some of them didn't get selected. Some of them got selected based on the quantity. Uh, rank it uh, because we are using inventory service level. I notice that the objective function type over here is a single objective function so is solely based on the inventory uh, to service level ratio. We can do a so-called multi-objective function weighted. So what I need to do is first the inventory level I'm going to give a weight of 2 for example and then the uh, Average service level, I'm going to get a uh, 
a weight of five. Oh, let me get a six. So that means the inventory uh, service level will be three times more important in the optimal objective function evaluation than the average inventory. So let's see how we can run this multi-objective. I'm going to run that again. Okay, start running. Sorry, run again. Okay, finish the runs. Actually, uh, we only have a few, uh, only have one uh, selected in that case, and that's the uh, balance between uh, balance between the uh, average inventory level. But sometimes we don't uh, balance between the uh, average inventory level and the service average in, uh, service level. But sometimes we don't know exactly how much weight I need to put on each one of the scenario. Um, I can using a so-called uh, efficient frontier method and basically choose the so-called uh, pattern frontier. I'm going to reset all the runs and let it run it again. Right now, again, it's using the minimum uh, five replication to compare all the scenario, they're automatically generated. You can see that running some of them more than the other replication because the confidence interval may be uh, not close enough, they need more replication to figure out a uh, more precise estimation of the actual performance. Okay. Um, all right, we're done, and we can. And we can see that actually uh, these are the scenario that choose. Uh, oops, sorry. I think what I need to do is delete this one, remove that response, and using only fewer response to run, reset it, let it run, because too many dimension search may be may not be. Easy. You probably just want to stick with two with all the combination. You should be fine. I want you to pay attention actually, uh, this particular method consume a lot of a computer resources and gen since they generate a huge amount of scenario. And I would suggest you using course uh, so-called uh, the incremental first and then when you actually uh, narrow down to the range of the optimal region you want and then you're using a more fine-tuned increments for example and now I'm using 100 uh, from 100 increment from 5 to 1200 and uh, once you find a better range for you and you can actually uh, use a better <coughs> using a better uh, um, fine-grained fine increments and to find uh, pinpoint the optimal policy. Okay, so now you see that actually the, the method choose three different company, uh, three different scenario as uh, uh, the winners and all of them looks like order optical quantities 500 and uh, uh, Reordering point is varies, so we find now these three points actually are the optimal solution for uh, uh, based on consider both uh, average inventory and service level, and this will conclude the uh, 
the chapter 17 of Efficient Frontier. And I want you to refer to the slide online to uh, for detailed explanation of the Patent Frontier meaning of that. Thank you.